Hello, it's Living the Good Life, and I have some more garage sale and estate sale finds videos for you. This week, I went to some garage sales and a church rummage sale, and I'd love to show you what I found. So, uh, at a garage sale, I found all these puzzles. These are new in the box, the three on these side, and I bought the four new and two used. I think it was for $16. So, there's um, several Halloween themed ones, not right, usually my style, but they were new. There was these two Christmas and then one that was just a scenic one that I got for a dollar back there. And last week I showed you some tops that I had gotten for a dollar piece and I forgot that I had this jacket. So it was a dollar as well. Um, let's see. At a church rummage sale, I, I'm going to show you the jewelry, which is where I went to first. We were an hour early. We were first in line. And when I got into the main room, I got this Lolia. Tell me if y'all heard of this before. Um... I think it's body butter it was three dollars um let's see i got i think the trap stuff is still on the table from last time so i apologize for that i got those for a dollar piece um i got this viking bell and it's got the flower on the front and it was two dollars and let's see that was at that sale I'm going to skip that. The owl was there. He was $2 a well. $2 seemed to be the, the, the number. So brass owl for $2. And then this um, gold filigree lipstick holder was also, let's see, $2. There you go. Um, let's see. I think that was it. I'm going to come to the, the rings last. Then at a, an estate sale, we hurried to get down there from the rummage sale. I wish I just would have spent more time in the jewelry room. But what I did get was these three pieces of cranberry glass for $10. This one is Pilgrim glass. And let's see if it's... Yes, it's got a po polished pontal on the bottom. So like $3.33. This one is the uh, Bohemia Czechoslovakia Czech Republic. No. Um, glass and it's it's a little basket but look how they really don't connect and it was made that way so clear at the bottom and then the cranberry and this I think is more a Murano with the little bubbles doesn't have anything on it but it is polished at the bottom that was fun and then at a garage sale I got this pretty enamel spoon and it says here let's see if I got the right way nope I don't right here it says, David Anderson, Norway Sterling 925S. Bought that for $5 at a garage sale, along with some stamps. So I could pay $0.25 cents for a little booklet of stamps. Most of them were just like ones that she cut off an, an envelope. Um, so I got them, you know, like a forever stamp for $0.25, cents, which is okay. And then um, cleaning out my great aunt's and uncle's storage unit, we found this belt. I wanted to show it to you. It's hand-tooled leather. And it has, this is unmarked, but it is sterling. I've tested it. It has the inlaid turquoise with the sterling silver there. And the buckle, that's what it looks like on the back. And then the tip of the belt has sterling as well. So that was one of the pieces of silver that we found. My uncle used to repair watches. And we did find some little bits of silver here and there. And so I'm still kind of going through all his stuff. We had a whole bunch of pocket watches. When I finally get that drug into the house, I'll show you that kind of stuff as well. And then the final thing at the church rummage sale is I got all these watches. Excuse me. <laughs> watches. I'm still stuck on watches. Um, all these rings. Turn, your, turn yourself around, baby. Um, they were $2 a piece. And I should have spent more time, but I kept thinking, what am I missing in the big room with everything else? So there's this one. This is a James Avery ring, and you can see it's a little out of shape. So if I could get it stuck back for $2. Here is a sterling silver with mother of pearl. $2. This is like a little spoon ring thing. And most of the time these are just silver plate. But this actually says sterling here on the inside. This one is not marked at all. But I have tested it and it looks like it's 10 carat. So... With a pretty little, and I'm going to get my diamond tester working. The battery is out, so I've got to replace that. And I'll give you an update on this one, okay? So, if that is gold, that was fabulous. But this one is definitely gold. 14 carat with like, a, I think, a blue topaz or an aquamarine. 
really well made it says 14 karat here and you know I can't see anything with without looking at it without my glasses oh there it is right here in the corner by my nail it says 14 karat it is absolutely beautiful with a little diamond chip at the top two dollars so in and of itself, that's a reason to go back to that estate sale. So, and I understand that they have one in the fall too. We will be there. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. I'd love to hear your comments and share your knowledge with me. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye bye.